365 days without alcohol. We went one full year of being sober. It is crazy. And honestly, there were so many emotions leading up until uh, the day of my one year. And um, that's kind of why I've been a little MIA. People come on, press like Fred, Today is a very special day. However, I was not gonna vlog at all because I'm leaving this entire video to Kenny. Uh, but yeah, today is my one year of being sober. I'm not gonna take up too much of your time. I just wanna document. For one, my boy Austin surprised me with some tip streets with a little sweet note right there and some cookies. So I appreciate you, bro. And then the gym team got me a card as well from Tip Streets with this box of cookies. Uh, and I just made the post not long ago on Instagram talking about it. Uh, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, be sure to check it out. But yeah, I'm feeling honestly thankful. And now Ashley just door dashed me some lunch right now. But I'm super excited. A lot of emotions kind of going through my body today. But nonetheless, like, I'm super thankful and uh, yeah, we made it this far, but uh, we'll talk more about my journey at the end of this vlog. For now, I'm just gonna kinda enjoy the rest of the work day. 365 days without alcohol. That's one year, 365 days. That That is crazy. And uh, I can't believe a day finally came here. Uh, let's go ahead and ignore the fact that I said I was gonna have somebody record me. Literally, this video I've been dragging out and I was like, you know what, there's no perfect way. There's. I was, I was like, should I do an edit? Should I hire this person? Should I hire this person? Should I, I wanna plan it this way? But I was like, you know what? There's literally no perfect way uh, to film this. I just wanna get my message across. And I promise not to take up too much of your time just because I don't wanna drag this out. Not that it's been a burden to anybody but I don't want to drag this out more I just want to let this let this video be a little bit of a little celebration a little reflecting for me and um, let's go ahead and uh, start this off by reading my caption uh, for my one-year post it's actually already almost a week ago I'd like to give a huge shout out to my man Hanman uh, for capturing these pictures I felt like it was only right to have him take these pictures and mainly because you know it was not long ago you guys saw this video so as of today I'm actually 10 weeks and two days sober. 10 weeks sober, like nine weeks sober, eight weeks and a lot of, I've, I've had like very like, it, it just like, I always kind of knew about it, but I kind of. And to be honest, when I first initially released that video, I didn't realize the impact it would have on people. And again, I didn't do it for cloud. I didn't do this. I simply did it just to share my message and kind of give you guys a little insight of what was going on with my life. The, the feedback and the response still to this day is like incredible. And uh, I'm glad I could help so many people in so many different ways. I'm gonna go ahead and read my caption right now. One year sober. We made it. What a crazy ride it's been. 2020 brought many crazy things, but for me, it brought hope. <clears throat> I went sober by choice, not because it was needed. I stepped in the right direction clear my head it's easy to look back and be like damn this year was ass i thank god for putting things into a new perspective for me give me the strength i didn't have last year <laughs> sorry about that yo what give me the strength i didn't have last year healing me allowing to shift my focus back to what really matters in life living in my purpose let this be for anyone who is facing doubt, despair, hurt, or disappointment. Just know it gets easier. Don't take your eyes off the prize. Some days may be hard, but you're not. But you alone have what it takes. Show up, get shit done. Nothing worthwhile is ever fucking handed to you. Cheers to the next chapter. I know you guys probably may have so many questions for me. I promise I'll eventually get to it, but like I said, I don't want to take up too much of your time right now. I guess what I can say is what I've learned and like what I've learned the past year from not drinking and on my journey uh, and taking a step in the right direction is I learned that you know things may get hard but as long as you're willing to put in the effort day in and day out and you don't take your eyes off the prize slash end goal like you will get there and that end goal for me was going at least one year sober will I stay sober forever I don't know do I want to have a celebratory drink yes maybe I do but the main thing is for me like I'm just the type of guy that whether it be comp competing whether it be goals in life whether it be this road to sobriety is I if I have an end goal I will do whatever it takes to hit it and that's exactly where we made it I'm thankful for my family and friends just standing behind me uh, the, the support I had from everybody was literally insane and honestly like like, you know, I still have my days. It's like the days of I was feeling down. I had the freaking amazing support system on Instagram, here on YouTube, and I know it's been a rough couple years with me, so up and down, and everyone tells me, not everyone, quite a few of you have said like, yo, we miss the regular uploads. I can finally say that after everything I went through this past year, because if I don't have myself right up here, then I can't take care of myself here. And then I can't give you guys the, the Tim. 
After everything I've done this past year alone, it feels like a lifetime for me. I've learned my lessons, my friendship, a lot about myself that I feel like my life is just like starting all over again. I finally feel like I tapped in my purpose and I literally genuinely believe that 2021 is not gonna be the best year for myself, but for you, if you're struggling, for anybody watching this video, if you're having doubt, um, insecurities, or like, you know, I'm just a disappointment, I promise, pick your head back up. This year is just gonna be amazing to all of us so whatever it is you want in life just don't take your eyes off the prize i want to thank you all for the support like i said i know you guys probably have so many questions for me let me be living proof that you know the days do get better there is light at the end of the tunnel the hard days do become easier you just have to be willing to put in the work that's basically what i was getting at um i'm gonna go ahead in this video on like a little montage of like this year and recap and sorry if the editing is kind of cheesy because your boy is a little rusty I feel like it's been a while since I've talked to you. Basically, I felt like a failure. And the, the weekend before Christmas, and I feel like this is like the first time anybody's like hearing about it. It's like basically like ready to end my life, I think. But at the end of the day, it's like I'm doing this for myself and you know my future. I operate, if I don't have an end goal, then I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna reach that goal. I, I can't say I'm gonna cut and not have an end goal because then I'm not gonna end up doing it. I can't say like, oh, I wanna get to this part of life or I wanna reach this level of success, but if I don't have an end goal, Oh, oh, hop straight into the video. Okay, I'll see you guys. Uh, this is probably the sickest cheese channel I've ever seen. This is sick. And like, think about all like the mom and pop restaurant. Or all the people affected because of work too. I have the joy of getting tested for COVID-19. I think what happened was effed up. I don't, it's not okay. Happy birthday to you. The first official samples of Capital. Um, yeah, I'm starting to make music. It's something I've been wanting to do for a long time. Dude, I just made it back down from Cal. It's like to vlog in 2020, right? I'm trying to just tell you. My hat's still on. Bruh. <laughs> Give it <a> <laughs> and I'm about to pull a prank on probably Giannis if you're watching this bro I love you and I'm so sorry This is like the fastest transformation any of you have ever seen, but I mean, I like to say like I'm still working, you know, I'm getting tired. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, uh, here on a Saturday night, it's my Mochi Donuts. Why don't you go, go ahead and play my little Old Spice promo I did last week. Yes! That's my boy. Old Spice Ultra Smooth Products. Old Spice Ultra Smooth Products have been- Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Street day. This is my baby. Any more blessed with her. Bryce Hall, the Bryce Hall, not only shared my post, his Instagram story, commented on my post, and hit me with a reply on you. We got this red llama sweater. Continue to be a great friend, a son, a father, working out again, and these are things that I really look forward to every single day now. And just knowing that if I do have a bad day now, I'm in more in control of my thoughts and just. I couldn't be where I'm at today if it wasn't for me going through everything I have in life. It's made me who I am today. There's no strong person with the easy past. Be the hero of your own story. I can't believe it's been a year. And uh, I cannot I could not be more thankful. I told myself I wasn't gonna get emotional during this and I'm not going to, I promise. But uh, I love you guys. Thank you so much for the support um, for my family, for my friends, anyone watching this, uh, anyone important in my life. I know it hasn't been easy, um, but I feel like we back. 
you know, we back in this thing. And um, I couldn't have done it with all of you. Couldn't have done it with my family and friends. Um, yeah, we made it 365 days without alcohol. That's crazy, man.